Hi, and welcome to Best in Tesla. When it comes to battery technology, Tesla is way ahead of the competition. In today's video, I'm going to show you why that is and why nobody seems to be able to catch up. And why I think it's already game set and match for Tesla, even if new battery technology is just around the corner from the competition, I don't think it will matter much. Let me tell you why and let's dive right in. Tesla is already working on their next generation batteries that is just about to be announced in April, but Tesla is already ahead in the game of battery technology. Tesla's battery is cheaper to produce than the competition, faster and easier to mass produce than the competition, it is more efficient than the competition and have longer lifespan. According to Kane Energy Research Advisor, a consulting company specializing in electric vehicles batteries research, says that for Tesla, the cost of cylindrical battery cells is $158.27 per kilowatt hour in 2019. A degradation of more than $1,000 per kilowatt hour compared to 2010. At the same time, according to Kane, in 2019, batteries made by other manufacturers using different technologies cost an average of more than $200 per kilowatt hour. Tesla simply has been engineering these packs for longer than its competitors, and therefore it has a technology lead that is significant, says Sam Jeff, Kane's managing director. So even when competition is making the same size battery pack, let's say a 100 kilowatt hour pack, the battery pack itself is more than $4,000 more expensive, but Tesla's is more efficient. That's a big deal. So Tesla has a longer range for a much cheaper price. As we can see with the Porsche Taycan, have the range for twice the price. Tesla's engineering advantages, according to Jeff, is the automaker's use of more advanced cylindrical battery cells and its battery management system software that can control the car's batteries. Tesla has really revolutionized that part of the battery pack and made it much more sophisticated and it gives them the competitive advantage, Jeff said. If we, for example, compare the Tesla Model Y to the upcoming Ford Mustang Mark E, they both have about the same price tag, about $52,000. Tesla's Model Y beats the Ford on range, and we are still waiting to see if Ford can actually make this range. This is just what Ford expects the car to do, but we have seen pretty much all other big boys saying they would come out with a 300 mile range but none of them has delivered on that. But we will have to wait and see. But how Ford is going to make this one profitable, as they say they will, I have a hard time seeing. Or it's definitely not going to be with a big margin like Tesla. Because if you look at Ford's battery, it's a 99 kilowatt hour battery that cost over $200 per kilowatt hour. But if we are just saying $200, that battery pack alone is going to cost about $20,000. Where Tesla's Model Y's 75 kilowatt hour battery pack is going to cost 11,850 US dollars. About $8,000 cheaper, but it's still gonna beat the Ford on range, even if Ford is going to be able to get the 300 miles of EPA range. So can't see how they will make a lot of money on this car, as they say they will. And previously other automakers laughed at Tesla and Elon Musk about their EVs and battery production. But now the situation has changed dramatically. Most of them now understand Tesla has made a breakthrough in the field of batteries and the other guys are way behind. 
And another thing that one of my subscribers reminded me about is another very important issue with other car manufacturers' battery compared to Tesla's. Longevity of the batteries. Pat McDaniel wrote in his comment, One big thing everyone is overlooking, all of these other batteries are pouch batteries that cannot be cooled evenly. That will wear very quickly. Just look at Nissan Leaf's batteries, dead in 5 years. My 2012 Leaf could not get 80 miles in good weather after 5 years. My 2016 Model X can still go 240 miles after 4 years. There is no comparison of batteries longevity. You buy one of the big boys cars and you will have to replace your batteries in 5 years, not in a Tesla. Thanks Pat for your comments. And yes, it's true, Tesla had some of the same issues back when they started, but now their battery technology has improved so much and the degradation of the Tesla battery is very small, as Ben Solens from Teslanomics showed in his video. I'll leave a link to that below. But the pouch cell can deliver high load currents, but it performs best under light loading condition with moderate charging. Not so ideal for electric cars because you need to be able to deliver high charging and high loads. And as Pat say, they can't cool them down evenly and all this make the degradation faster. And although they are easily stackable, provision must be made for swelling. Smaller pouch packs can grow as much as 8 to 10% over 500 cycles. You can see some examples here, not an ideal situation for your car. So the big boys are behind in pretty much every single way when it comes to battery technology. And this is just the beginning. Tesla will soon release information on a new breakthrough in battery development. Like Elon said, battery day people, wait until battery day. It's gonna blow your mind, it blows my mind and I know it. And Tesla has all the components ready for the next generation battery. They bought Hybar Systems, which is a Canadian manufacturer of automated liquid dispensing and filling system. Hybar also manufacture automated assembly system, including vacuum filling system for lithium ion batteries. And Tesla bought Maxmill for its solid state drive battery cells. Tesla bought Groman, they are expert of the production of lithium ion battery cells and modules. All these companies combined with Tesla's bright minds is why Tesla is ahead and keeps improving the battery technology, but I don't really think we have seen the true benefits of these companies yet. I think we will see and hear much more about this in April on Tesla's battery and powertrain investor day. I don't think Tesla would make a battery day if they didn't have some battery technology breakthrough to show the world. And we do know they are working on the next gen battery cell. They can confirm that with the new jobs at Fremont where Tesla is working on the next gen batteries. The job position said, Tesla cell manufacturing engineering group is looking for a highly motivated equipment development engineer to accelerate our next generation battery cell manufacturing program. So Tesla is hiring to accelerate the manufacturing of the next generation battery cell, not to do some research into the battery technology. They already have the technology. They need people that can help them to accelerate and manufacture of these new cells. So we definitely will see the next generation battery cell and investor day, and we will see the roadmap for how Tesla expects to get to at least one terawatt of battery production a year. I just can't wait for this event. I think it's going to be a much bigger deal than people think. This is just such an important technology. And why it does not really matter if other totally new battery technology breakthroughs are coming. If we take like Real Graphine, which is a company that actually made a breakthrough in batteries by using graphene technology, making a battery charge three times faster and can make three times as many charging cycles than your normal lithium ion battery. And you can actually buy a power bank 
with this technology right now. That's pretty cool. But even real graphene has not talked about electric cars, but only golf cars, because the batteries are probably not efficient enough to go into cars, or I really think they would have talked about it because that is a really big business opportunity. And we got to remember when people are talking about battery technology breakthroughs like the graphene battery, it has been years in development. But even now, it is not ready for cars. And the price is still about 35% more expensive than lithium ion batteries. And the graphene was invented 16 years ago. So even if something comes along with new battery breakthrough now, it would probably take years for mass production and especially for cars and at affordable price that would make sense and will be able to compete with lithium ion batteries. And as I have said in my other videos, how hard it's going to be for the big boys to make this switch to electric vehicles in general, the war for EVs is now. And the battle is going to take place in the next five to 10 years. After that, there can come new technologies and improvement in the industry. But I think the big switch to electronic vehicles is done by 2030 and we will see who is left standing and who didn't survive this switch and therefore can't make use of whatever new technology comes along. So I really don't think there is any battery technology that will come within the next five years that is going to change the outcome of this EV war. The battle is now not in 10 years. And Tesla has been working in the background for many years with the new technology they are about to reveal and have the ability to get the production of these batteries going fast in their own gigafactories because they already have the experience with production through their companies, Hybar and Groman, and of course Tesla themselves with their collaboration with Panasonic. And Tesla is going to come and leapfrog everyone with the new gen battery cells. But they're always looking into how to make more and better batteries, like the collaboration with CATL in China, where Tesla and CATL will make prismatic battery cells and probably not in modules, but directly into the battery packs itself. And they will not even have any cobalt inside. That's a big deal. And all this will save time and money, even without the new technology that we're going to hear about in April, because I don't think it is just this CATL collaboration we will hear about. I think they will have something totally new with Maxwell technology. And I think this is one of the key ingredients for Tesla to get to the one terawatt of battery production, which will also get the price even further down on the Tesla batteries. And maybe we will hear Elon talk about this as well on the investor day, how and when they will get to the $100 per kilowatt hour battery. So Tesla is constantly evolving the technology in many different ways, while the competition has not even caught up to the Tesla Model S made back in 2012. Sure, the price has come down for the other guys as well since 2012, but their batteries are still less range, less performance, shorter lifespan, and are more expensive than Tesla's. It's like Apple and the iPad. No one really caught up to them and no one is really a competition to Apple's iPad because Apple's iPad is just so much better than any other tablet out there and Apple keeps improving the iPad while the rest of the industry never really caught up to the last one they made because the other simply got too far behind. And I think when it comes to batteries, Tesla's technology is just too far ahead. And even before the car industry has caught up with the eight year old Tesla Model S, Tesla is ready to make yet another big leap forward. So that is why I think no one is really going to catch up to Tesla. And it is 
almost too late anyway because the battle is now. It of course will matter in the future, but if you want to be part of that future, you have to survive the next 10 years. So that is why I think no one is really going to catch up to Tesla and it's almost too late anyway because the battle is now. It of course will matter in the future, but if you want to be a part of that future, you have to survive the next 10 years. But this is of course just my opinion. But what do you think? Am I totally wrong? Am I missing something? Or do you think someone is going to catch up to Tesla and who and when? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to hit that like button and share button. It really means a lot for this video. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos just like this one. And it's also a big support for this channel. If you want to support the channel even more, you can head over to patreon.com slash best in Tesla and support the show for as little as a buck a month. It really helps out a lot. And you can also see all the perks you can get over there as a Patreon. As always, the biggest help is you watching this video. So thank you so much for watching. Until next time, take care there and be nice.